Well, we had a new member join the 50 point plus club at the weekend. It was a star of NBL One West and to talk us through it is Greg Heyer. Welcome, Greg. Tell us all about Stacey Barr. Yeah, Meg, Friday night, it was a special night, uh, certainly for the Warwick Senators and Stacey Barr. We know the the Warwick Senators have sort of had a, a very inconsistent year uh, throughout the season. And, and Stacey Barr, obviously, last year's NBA on West MVP, um, yeah, has sort of been that uh, synopsis as well. Hasn't played well, but she went in fuego. Eight from 11 from the three-point line, 19 from 27 from the field, and a handy eight uh, boards. And got a much-needed win. Now they go five and five, but she went... 51 points. Um, I don't care whatever level you're playing, whether that's Monday night, um, domestic ball. If you score 51, that's respectable. And she was complimented by Mackenzie clinch Hoycard, who had a near triple-double, 12 points, 13 boards, and, and 9 assists. And now they play the undefeated Kerber and Cougars this weekend. Um, so that's going to be a really good, I guess, litmus test to see where they're at for this season. It was an unbelievable performance by Stacey Barr. She joined some unbelievable company. And it, it's not often that someone else's big weekend would be overshadowed by a game like that. But there was another big double-double. Yeah, Taj Morrell from the June Love Wolves. She's been um, special all year. Um, Shea Parker-Williams has missed a few games and um, they've sort of been toing and froing. Obviously, they lost to Kerbin Cougars last week. But she was uh, remarkable, 24 points and 22 boards on the weekend. And um, against the Perry Lakes Hawks, who we know are a pretty potent lineup. Uh, Robbie Ryan as well had 27 points and four boards and five assists. So um, they remain second in the ladder, but... Sort of when I looked at that weekend, I sort of laughed. It went Tage Morrell, 20 and 20. Um, if that's the second story of the week, um, things are special at NBL One West. And some winning streaks have continued. Who are they and how long are they? Yeah, the Kerbin Cougars remain undefeated. Um, they went up to, to Goldfield Giants. We know, we spoke about it last week, they had the inclusion of Darcy Garbin. Um, and they got a, a big win. Like they would have been battle tested um, up there. Um, so they played well. Now they've won 10 in a row. Um, and then Rockingham Flames, after a pretty slow start of the year and um, critics were sort of calling for heads and whatnot, they lost their first three games. Now they've won eight in a row. Um, and they had a great game, um, beating Mandra Magic uh, quite convincingly on Friday night and then trouncing Bunbury Slammers. Um, Lisa Coop had a really good game against Friday on Friday night against the Magic, which is her best game of the season. And Mary Crack is leading the way again for them. So, um, yeah, uh, some big streaks happening, eight games and ten games, and good to see both those teams continue winning uh, this weekend. Let's continue the conversation around winning streaks as we move our focus to the men's side of action. Yeah, well, Perry Lakes Hawks played against, I guess, maybe a traditional rival right there. They played for the Game Mega Shield, um, which is uh, against uh, it, both clubs. Very storied highlight um, around settling around cancer awareness right there. But Perry Lakes remained on top of the standings. Um, Mitch Clark, uh, he had a great game, 30 points in, in less than 30 minutes. Very efficient. Um, and he um, had a really good sort of beneficiary right there, Andrew Ferguson, who's come back from Japan. Um, he was pretty good as well. Um, you know, eclipsing that 20 point mark. And so, yeah, that all Perry Lakes lineup just continues uh, trucking along. They they remain on top of the standings and they have a really juicy counter against the Perth Redbacks this weekend who have, you know, knocked off the Rockingham Flames in the last few weeks as well. So, um, sets up for a really testy uh, game and um, pleasing to see Mitch Clark, who's a fringe NBL uh, Taliban guy, um, go off this weekend. And finally, Geraldton and Willerton continued their winning streaks. Tell us all about them. Yeah, look, Geraldton uh, went up and they played against um, Goldfield Giants, and, and that's the, the country rival, and um, got a pretty convincing win. Unfortunately, Goldfield's dropped both games this weekend, which was good for them. But uh, Willerton, um, going to take a lot of confidence here. Um, they played Eastern Suns, who have been playing well. Joe Cochrane uh, was great. Albert Manza was great as well. Um, Darnell Hoskins was limited. He, um, you know, he didn't play his normal game. He's an MVP candidate. Gorjak Gak was solid, um, but Travis Fee coming off the bench, um, that, you know, had a really, really pleasing performance. And he had 18 points. And you know, those bench guys coming uh, the business end of the season or grand finals to step up will be good. So um, massive for them. Um, you know, they remain top four and they continue winning um, for both those clubs. They're really striking hot at the right time. Action packed as usual in the West, Greg. Hi, thanks for bringing us up to speed. Look forward to chatting to you again soon. My absolute pleasure, Meg. Thanks as always.